Cowgirl is about a girl called Gemma Matthews who has a chance encounter with a girl from her school who they all call Cowgirl. She doesn't like her. In this forced encounter, she gets to know that she has these 12 cows and tells her grandmother about this encounter and the grandmother asks her to invite her to lunch. And so these two girls who dislike each other are forced together. And in forcing them together, uh, Gemma finds out that Kate has her own problems and that her father wants to sell the 12 cows, which she's dead against. And so the story is about how you save 12 cows by hiding them in a small Welsh town. I thought if we put a cow amongst a community, what benevolent effect would that animal have upon a community? And I think, I think it does have that impact. And the more people find out about cows, the more appreciative they are of them. The cowgirl events I've been doing have been mostly in libraries, uh, specifically to talk to children about the book. But what I think is interesting is to talk to them about cows as well. So I talk to them about milk, I talk to them about cows, I talk to them about facts of dairy farming, which in general they, they don't know of, because it becomes an interactive session then. It becomes a learning opportunity for them. And I think that makes more of a complete event. I've never seen Mam look so surprised. She's got a cow in the backyard, she's making cheese in a bucket, and a nutter roaming round upstairs. She's lost her ruddy marbles. Mam went to the back door. I stood beside and we watched as Gran showed Jane to the visiting family. Morris and Roger were still arguing as they fixed the tarpaulin to the back door and Mr Banerjee was shoveling cow dung into a bucket. Darren came running in from the back alley. This do, Gran. He was holding a load of grass and weeds. That'll do lovely, Darren. Can I feed her? Aye, she likes fresh grass and such. I watched my annoying, creeping, sly little brother start feeding grass to Jane like he was a country boy. I was amazed. I looked at Mam, but she was still staring open-mouthed at Mr Banerjee's shoveling cow poo. Darren was grinning as Jane chewed away at the grass he'd brought her. There's loads out back, Gran, he said. I'll get some more. Good boy, Darren, good boy. I don't believe it, said Mam. I was about to say, nor do I, when I noticed the shrub I helped Gran plant over Ruby and realised she hadn't mentioned that dog in ages. Now she had a backyard full of people. She was busy and she was happy. Winning the uh, Tierna Org Award with my first book is really something that I was not expecting. The greatest thing for me is the fact that I wrote about four books before I wrote Calgo. None of them were published, but Calgo was the first book I set in Wales. And in doing that, I suddenly felt that, uh, I suddenly felt comfortable writing, writing the dialogue, writing the language, um, writing about the landscape. And so there's a, there's a double pleasure in the fact that it's my debut novel and it's been awarded a Welsh award by the Welsh Book Council, so it makes it extra special.